ID. ID. Yeah. Yeah. Bring. Bring it. They are over. <coughs> there was a friend who required a gentleman sometimes ago, Kabla Ujiaoka. And both of you, there's something happened. Ambayo inakutoment mentally mbaka waleo. It's okay uliokoka, uliotoka kule kwa dunia. But the thing still comes to your mind. What happened? You are forgiven. Na sasa nime kufungua. Usonge next level in life. In Jesus name. Thank you Lord. Who is Leonard? Remember that name. Andika maali. Okay? Remember that name. But now you are free. Generational curse mekatika. Because kurikuwa na traditions wanafanya. And then you carry it. Uli upatiwa jina ya mkubo ya those traditions those time. Diyo umeandika kwa yu ID. That's the reason why nimechukua ID yako ni utakaze. Diyo maisha yako yanze kushayu. Every time unalala unanyongwa. Because hizo matabao sitikuwa sinafanyiwa. Whatever wanafanyia still unajiona. Unaziona life life. You are free. Generational curses are broken. But ile kitu ilikuwa inazuia maisha yako kushine saidi is that a relationship of this gentleman ambao ulikuwa nae before wakoke you know where you went, you know what happened the things you comes to your mind but unajaribu kuomba itoke itoki. Now you are free and you are washed by the blood of Jesus Go and succeed in life Jina yangu ni Daniel Musili Mwaya. Wakati ibada kuna mambo ambayo mtumishi wa Mungu alikuelezea, unaweza kumbuka amekwambia nini? Kama ilikuwa ID. Uh-huh. ID. ID. Kwa shika hii na shika ni bariki maisha yako. Hiyo jina. Angu ilikuwa kuhusu jina. Jina yangu naitwa Daniel Musili. Yo Mosili ndio ilikuwa na nisubua but this is is an item generation of curses they are over and ya ngo wa grand grandfather wa grand grandfather wa my nini my da nani manyamezana babangu ayo jina imenisumbua sana kutoka utotoni hadi nimaleze shule 2022 na last year Ikanyima ikanyima mambo mengi sana. Ningekuwa mbali lakini juu ya hiyo jina. Na labda ushaipewa history kuhusu hiyo jina ya huyo yeah. mtu? Nilishapewa tu. Alikuwa mtu wa aina gani? Huyo Angoa grandfather. Alikuwa? Alikuwa Angoa. Okay. And grandfather. Oh grandfather. Yeah. Labda hiyo uh, alikuwa ani ana shiriki na hii mambo ya witchcraft. Eh. Yeah alikuwa ndakitali wa hiyo sasa na nikapewa kuna yenye nilikuwa naitwa lakini hiyo babu akasema nisiitwe hivyo niitwe hiyo ya ngoa yake eh na pia amsipendi sana naitangwa sana sana naitangwa Daniel Mwaya ndio anatumianga sana um, okay eh. na pia kuna kitu kingine alikuongelesha hapana ni kuhusu hiyo jina tu na pia alikuuliza kuhusu traditions zilikuwa zinafanywa kwenye ndio hiyo hiyo wakati wangu nikiwa mtoto nikiwa mdogo labda wewe yeah. ushaifanywa mimi si yes nikajua jo nilikuwa kama mtoto tu nilikuwa oh. na umri wa miaka tatu hivi nikiitwa hiyo jina ndio kuna ile niliitwa nikizaliwa nikakataa na nikaitwa hiyo sasa okay eh yeah. alright yeah alikuwa yes. ananisumbua na magonjwa vitu mingi na ninyima tu okay. yeah. na apart from a... kwa maisha tu Ah, kimaisha tu. Ah, imenyima vitu nyingi sana. Juka si hiyo jina ningekuwa bali, ningekuwa nikicheza sasa hivi. Ndio niko na certificate zangu za michezo siko kwa nyumba. Ile ingine ni protocol nilileta tukaweka pale tu na ngojea tu. Eh, nikawa na wanafanya na wananga ni hivyo. Na ile ingine ni ndoto mbaya, nikiota hiyo ndoto mbaya. Nika napatwa na sijui ni nini nika 
niko na hiyo pressure tu ya mind tu nika siski nzuri nika niko na pressure ya kichwa tu ni pressure ndoto zangu unatanga ndoto gani ndoto baada tu nikiona nikiwa na nikiwa kwa maji hivyo kitu kama hizo tu sasa hii baada ya kuombea unasikia aje ah mimi niko sawa hebu encourage watu ambao wanapitia hali hali kama hizo kifamilia Mungu arakishe. Ah, barikiwe sana.